Good morning. Uh, today is day 17 of my energy drink withdrawal program, the T-30 method. It's 6.30 in the morning, uh, Sunday, May 12th, 2013, Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day. Um, I just rolled out of bed this morning. Uh, today I had, I guess, my first uh, caffeine withdrawal headache. So this program um, won't be effortless. Uh, let me have a sip of this. So that was interesting. It was a classic throbbing headache I woke up to this morning, um, which has happened to me before in caffeine withdrawal, pro you know, when I go cold turkey. So I'm still hoping this program is better than going cold turkey. I went uh, about 17 days and cut my caffeine by 50%. Um, before I had any withdrawal symptoms. I mean, today is sort of unmistakable. This is a caffeine withdrawal headache, so this is going to be good. So we'll see how the next two weeks go. I'm probably going to publish these videos anyway. I mean, just as to show a potential way of um, weaning yourself off caffeine. And I'm still hoping it's going to be easier than going cold turkey. Um, and I'm hoping like this, it's also interesting that, um, they always talk about a hundred milligrams. This has a hundred milligrams right here or a little less than a hundred milligrams now, um, which is one cup of coffee. And that was, at least for me, it seems that's the threshold where the, the headaches start coming in. If I dip below the equivalent of a cup of coffee. So I'm hoping this will alleviate the headaches. And this is my problem with caffeine, basically. That I'm drinking this not to uh, feel bet good or something. I'm feeling this. I'm drinking this. I'm starting off in a state of withdrawal. And then this is just getting me back to normal. And to me, it's really, although it feels good right now, but I'm going from feeling bad to feeling sort of okay. Um, instead of going from feeling normal to feeling really good. So who really needs it? I mean, it would be better if I just felt normal instead of starting out feeling bad and then have, having to drink this to feel normal. Although, like it already feels pretty good that I don't feel bad. Um, okay, so I read, finished this book, Buzz, it was a very good book. Uh, the second half is about caffeine. The first half was about alcohol, so it compares the body's reactions to two, these two drugs. And basically it's stuff I had mentioned before in terms of caffeine, uh, that caffeine uh, it's a bigger molecule than ethanol, the alcohol uh, molecule, and um, it targets these things called adenosine rece receptors. It's an adenosine inhibitor, I think the word is. Um, so as I read more of these books, I'll, it's going to start to sink in more and more. But um, the idea is that adenosine, when you your neurons are, are, are active and you're, you know, busy and awake. Your body kicks off this stuff called adenosine, uh, which is like a waste product of neurons firing. And then there are these things called adenosine receptors that, re particularly in the brain, but also throughout the body, that uh, this adenosine gets into and then it tries to modulate your body or, or take your body down so that it's sort of like a, a natural, I don't know what the word is, modulator. Um, so that's the way the body normally works. Your body gets real revved up, it kicks off this adenosine, it goes, the adenosine goes into these receptors, then the, it's, that slows your bodies down. So your body stays on an even keel. When I drink this, 
which has caffeine in it. That caffeine's going into my stomach and then it goes into my, um, it's very water soluble and fat soluble substance so it quickly zooms through, gets into your bloodstream, goes through your liver, the liver tries to attack it. But the month it gets through, um, then inhibits this adenosine. It, it goes into the, those adenosine receptors instead of the adenosine. But since it's not a perfect fit, it doesn't do what it's supposed to do, which is to slow everything down. So it basically blocks the adenosine from going into the receptors. And so your body can't slow down. Um, so I think the analogy in here, it says like the brake pedal on your body is sticky or there's like a block of wood under it. So your body can't slow down. So you stay hyped up because um, the adenosine can't get into its receptor. So I'm going to have to, you know, as I read this more and more and talk about it more and more, I guess it'll sink in. But um, that's the basic way it works. It's an adenosine inhibitor and um, that's how caffeine works. And also when your body's hyped up like that, it kicks off endorphins and dopamine and gets your adrenal, adrenal glands working so you get adrenaline. Uh, and I guess that's why people drink it in the morning to wake up basically. Um, but you don't really need that. I mean, we've been waking up for millions of years, human, the human race. So you don't necessarily need that. Okay, um, I'll talk more about it. It was a really good book comparing ethanol or alcohol and uh, caffeine as two drugs that um, affect your body in, in different ways, but they're the two most common drugs in the world, so it's good to know them. And I'll, and I'll talk about it more as time goes on. Um, I had my first headache today, caffeine withdrawal headache, so I really, I probably woke up ten five minutes ago so I just rolled up just to, to drink this thing so we'll see how it goes over the next couple of weeks if the headaches and with other withdrawal symptoms uh, kick in I'm still committed to finishing this one way or the other and I'll just compare it to uh, I know cold turkey is hard so I'm hoping this is better than going cold turkey and I did cut my caffeine intake by half with no symptoms so that's good, and I'm hoping today may just be a one-off day, and then the headaches will just be today. And they're not that bad. Like, I've had a headache for about 15 minutes, and so I drank this, and it, it's already going away. Uh, what else? I may take a day or two off from reading books. Um, I want to read a pro-caffeine book and, a, and an anti-caffeine book to get a, uh, the two sides of the story and report them. Um, I'm definitely in the anti-caffeine camp at this point, without a doubt. I mean, who needs this? Who needs the headaches and then, you know, you're just, you know, there's no real net benefit that I see. Okay. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. <clears throat> Today's day 17. And, um, I will see you tomorrow.